In this video, I will guide you through Perfect CRM, a powerful open source customer relationship management software designed to help small and medium sized businesses manage their clients, projects, and sales. Whether you're new to Perfect or looking to maximize its potential for your business, this guide will cover all the basics from setting up your account to managing projects and automating sales processes. So let's get started. So first, what is Perfect CRM? Perfect CRM is a feature-rich open source CRM system that helps businesses manage customer relationships, track leads, handle project management, and automate invoicing and billing. Perfect CRM is highly customizable, offering flexibility for companies in various industries to tailor the platform to their unique needs. It is ideal for companies that need an affordable, scalable CRM with essential tools to manage customer interactions and project workflows. So now, when you finish setting up your account, so let's say you're already logged in, you will be greeted by your dashboard. So in this uh, dashboard, basically this dashboard will show you the overview of the performance of your business or simply the overview of your work. So as you can see right here in the top, you will see that you have invoice awaiting payment, converted leads, projects in progress, and tasks not finished. You'll also see your invoice overview, estimate overview, proposal overview, and all of this balances. Now right here on the right side, you will see your to-do items. As you can see, latest to-dos and the latest finished to-dos. And when you scroll down, you will also see your leads overview, statistics by project status, your tasks right here, projects, reminders, tickets, announcements, and latest activity. You will also see this week's events, your calendar, of course. So in your calendar, you will see your schedule. You can also add new schedules by clicking on the dates, adding event title, adding a description, the date and end date, and the minutes of this event. Also, when you scroll down again, you will see payment records. You will see all of these statistics and charts about your business. So what's good about this dashboard, it's again, it's highly customizable. So you can simply drag, so let's say this to-do items, just drag or press and hold on your mouse in this uh, six box icons. And as you can see, I can move it wherever I want. So now I have added the to-do items in the very top so that I know what I have to do for this day. So in the top, you can see the search bar to search for tags or contacts. You can also see uh, share right here, your profile, your timesheets and notifications. Now let's move on to the other features right here on the left hand side. So the next feature is customers. So from here, you will see all of your customers. So you can add new customers right here by clicking on new customer. So now you'll need to enter their company, VAT number, phone, website, groups, address, city, zip code, country, and also edit their billing and shipping information. So if you don't want to add a customer manually, of course, you can import customers. So just by adding a CSV file, but make sure that your CSV file has this format. First is first name, last name, email. So you will see it from here. So make sure that this is the format of the CSV file so that Perfect CRM can easily import that file. So of course you can download a sample right here to eliminate the hassle for you. Again, let's go to customers. You can also see contacts right here. From here, you'll see all of them. So just click on them to see their information. And you'll see the customer sum summary right here in the top. Now let's go to sales. So from sales, you will see proposals. As you can see, the, you have your proposals right here. Your estimates, invoices, payments, credit notes, and items. So let's say you want to go to items. So as you can see, you will see it all right here. You can also export this. 
via, uh, as an Excel file, CSV file, PDF, or print. Now let's move on to subscriptions. So from here, you will see all of your uh, subscriptions. So if you have active, you have future, or unpaid, incomplete, or canceled subscriptions, you'll see all of them right here. Next is expenses. So if you have current expenses, if you have expenses that are not invoiced or are invoiced, again, you will see it all right here. Next is uh, contracts. Now you will see this charts right here. You will see all of your contracts right here. If you scroll down. And again, if you want to add a new contract, just click here on new contract and fill up all of this information. Next is projects. Uh, here you will see all of the projects that you have created. You can also see the members that are working on these projects. So let's say we want to create a new project. Just uh, add the project name, customer, the billing type, status, total rate, all that. And we can select the project settings right here. So it basically, you need just all, need to read all of these settings and make sure that you have set these settings as you need. Next, next is tasks. Again, you will see your task summary right here. You'll see all tasks right here. You will see who this task is assigned to. You'll see the priority also right here. You can set the priority to either low, high, or urgent for the team members to know if they need to urgently prioritize that task. Again, you can create new task by clicking right here in the top left. Now let's go to support. So again, right here, you can create, create uh, tickets to uh, help your needs. So as you can see, you will also see all of your tickets that are submitted right here. You'll see open, in progress, answered, on hold, and closed tickets. Now let's move on to leads. From here, you will see all of your leads. So again, it's just the same as adding your customers or contacts. You can simply add new leads manually right here or simply import them via Excel or CSV file. Next is estimate request. So you will see estimate request right here. So if you want to add one, just click here on new form and fill up all of this information. And now let's get to knowledge base. So from here, you'll see a bunch of different articles. So if you're confused or you want to learn something about your business, there are a bunch of different articles right here. You can also add articles if you want. Next is utilities. So as you can see, uh, Perfect CRM has this uh, utility such as media, bulk PDF export, CSV export, calendar, Announcements, goals, activity log, surveys, database backup, and ticket pipe log. Now let's go to reports. You will see all of your reports right here. So this is the detailed version of the reports. So unlike when you're in your dashboard, so in the dashboard, you'll see reports or charts, but this is just the basic form. But in this section, you will see all of this uh, in every detail. And next is setup. So you have the setup option right here. And uh, you can customize all of this by using the setup feature. So that's basically all of the features of Perfect CRM. Just simply uh, play all with all of this stuff right here. Just uh, explore all of the settings. And in no time, you will now be able to use Perfect CRM for your business. So that's basically it. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.